hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna see how to cut and stitch this beautiful dress out of a sari here I having lining which is double folded and uh, that's I have two folds for front and back blouse and draw a shoulder line from the shoulder line down I'm taking the measurement for the top length of the top which is 15 inches mark the 15 inches from there we measure the shoulder which is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 from there the, the depth of the armhole is 7 inches and a half an inch for shoulder slope and join that line And the bus is 39 divided by 4 is 9.75. Give uh, 9.75. And the waist is um, 35 divided by 4, 8.75. And give an extra 1 inch for dot. And join that line. Now we're going to give the uh, front armhole. So, which is we will give um, extra one inch inwards, and the neck is I'm giving 2.75, and the back neck is very close neck, so I'm just giving a uh, half an inch, and for the front is um, I'm giving 4.5, which is a close neck uh, also. Uh, this time I'm giving a half placket uh, front opening half like it so that's why it's a uh, close round neck now we measure from the center uh, four inches for the dot and give uh, four inches in height 4.5 inches in height and at the both side give half an inch so that will come to one inch dot then draw the armhole curve then give the seam allowance for the uh, bottom of the blouse I'm giving just a uh, half an inch um, allowance and we can cut and don't forget to draw the shoulder slope and when we cut the armhole cut the back armhole and leave the front armhole that we can cut later um, and this is uh, how we transfer all the lines to other side of the blouses for the front and back uh, this already explained in my other videos and for this lining I'm using habutai habutai is actually um, s a polyester silk and it's in uh, lightweight it's very soft and lightweight it's not heavy we also can use satin satin I feel a little bit of um, heavy so I prefer to use this habutai for my whatever the um, sari dresses that I'm making. This is for the sleeve. Sleeve I already have double folded this and taking the length of the sleeve. And the cap height is uh, 4 inches. The underarm measurement is 8. The wrist I'm giving 5 inches and join that line and we give the extra seam allowance and that's the um, sleeve curve for the front and back we also can cut this so when we cut the sleeve curve cut the back sleeve first and cut the front sleeve for cutting the front sleeve curve we can open it up or we cut in between the two layers 
and this is for the a line um, a lining skirt uh, inner skirt for the inner skirt I'm getting the waist measurement and uh, from the the blouse height is uh, the blouse length is 15 inches from 15 inches down to 22 inches that's the hip line measurement make a line at the hip line measurement then I'm giving the hip measurement uh, is um, um, 12 inches so mark at the 12 inches and join the waist line to the hip line and also take the full um, skirt measurement 15 um, from the 15 inches down to 58 inches mark at 57 inches because it is the inner skirt lining I would I don't want it to be longer than the actual outside skirt and also I'm giving this um, curvy at the corner at the side of the skirt so in this way it won't drap at the side uh, it won't be too long at the side so now we can join the waist to hip and hip to the bottom and also give an extra seam allowance and we can cut it off so now we will transfer all the lining to the sari the sleeve I'm using the border uh, side so the border side is actually the darker tone so I'm using because I want to use the border at my sleeve then for the top I'm using the top side of the sari which is a different tone and pin it together then we can cut it off and for the skirt outer skirt um, from the waist away from the waist I'm giving extra 12 inches for the pleats so roughly I'll be having um, uh, six pleats so each pleat I'm giving two inches so, and also I give an extra seam allowance and we can cut it that I have two pieces of that outer skirt now all the pieces are already cut in uh, in the sari also now after uh, this is how I'm gonna give the pleats now we're going to do the blouse first. For the blouse, I'm going to. Uh, that's for the front blouse, the placket one. So now we can cut the back neck and put uh, uh, put the right side up and place the lining. Now we're gonna pin around the neck that because both the materials are silky so it's better to pin together now we can sew around the neck then after that we can cut away the excess and clip it around the uh, round edges and then flip the fabric to the right side and we can do a top stitch around the neck
then now we can sew around the blouse which is together with the lining and the outer layer of the fabric so in this way it will stay in place uh, especially for those uh, silky fabric now we can do the darts for the back piece of the blouse once the back piece is done the darts are done we can move on to the front piece of the blouse okay for the front piece as as before we're gonna cut the neck and we place this lining on top of the um, outer fabric and pin it together and sew around the neck and I already did the top stitch around the neck and I'm gonna sew around the blouse now together with the lining and that's ready done now for the placket opening I've already make a slit which is 5 inches and also I prepared this um, fabric with the interfacing which is 7 inches in length and 5 inches wide and for the um, a slit side I given half an inch away from the slit side then that I'm gonna sew around um, here I didn't explain much on this placket because that I wanted to do a different video on that And for now, we can cut away a quarter inch on the slitted side. And we're gonna turn it to the right side and flip the um, placket fabric to the front. And uh, that we're gonna press that side and fold and stitch along the side until to the slitted side and also I'm going to do the same thing for this side fold and stitch and stop at the slitted side And now both sides are already done and for the extra pieces I'm going to cut away some um, fabric from the other side, the inside of the placket. And make sure not to cut, uh, cut the triangle part and carefully cut away the fabric. Now we can fold and stitch that uh, corner actually I'm folded here the square end we also can fold the chimney type now the plaquettes uh, is ready done so later I will sew button holes on one side and do the buttons now we can stitch the shoulders together the shoulders are already done now uh, we prepare this uh, sleeves for sleeves I'm going to face the right side up and placing on top the lining and I'm gonna stitch along the edge then once this, uh, this side is done I'm gonna flip it open and fold it uh, to the right side and do the top stitch at the edge of the sleeve now we're gonna sew around the fabric the first layer of the fabric and the lining together
Now I've already done that for both the sleeves. Now we get we can attach the a uh, sleeve to the armhole and start sewing that. As I said, my lining is habutai. This habutai have two types. Uh, uh, one is from Japan and one is from China. Um, China is uh, the quality is not good that good but uh, the japan one is really nice smooth and silky if you're getting one for yourself um try to get the japanese one that's really worth the money now the slips are done we can do the other slips for the satin also is the same the setting they have Japanese one and the Chinese one now the sleeves are done now we can uh, do the pleats for the skirt so as I say I give an extra 12 inch that's for 2 inches for the pleats so 1 inch pin it and do another inch inwards and pin it so that's how you're going to give the pleats so now I already done the pleats and sew together now we're gonna attach this uh, fabric to the lining and sew it together as we talk about the satin the Japanese one is very heavy smooth and silky quality is very good China one is very lightweight and a bit rough if you want to get satin for yourself please get the Japanese one now the pleats are done for one side of the skirt we will do the same thing for the other side of the skirt so this above the skirt it will get the equal amount of um, pleats now the uh, pleats are done now we're gonna attach the skirt to the waist part of the uh, blouse and stitch uh, stitch together then this one side is really done this is the front side I did we're gonna move on to the other side of the skirt and stitch that together now it's already done the sleeves is done and the skirt is ready done now from the wrist down to the hip uh, from the waist to the hip is 10 inches mark the 10 inches at the hip line that's the hip line so mark that then actually we're gonna sew that side from the wrist to the hip line for the sleeve from the wrist to seven inches do a mark that's where i'm going to insert uh, um, insert a zip that's for uh, a voodoo friendly dress so mark that seven inches from that 7 inches all the way to the hip line we're gonna sew before sew make sure the hip line and the armpit line all matches together you can pin it so we will get the after stitching we will get that um, line a line so we're starting the stitching from the wrist down to the hip line so for this uh, from the where we stop the stitching at the hip line take away this uh, lining move away the lining from in and out uh, top and bottom of the lining and that end of the stitching we're gonna stitch along the outer layer of the skirt so 
from the hip line down to the bottom of the skirt reading a straight stitch so that will give a, a two uh, separate skirts lining separate and the outer skirt separate from the stitching line we are going to make a slit nearer to the stitch line then bring the skirt inside and get that lining together bottom and the top then hold that lining together and bring in the skirt the outer layer of the skirt now where we stop the hip line stitching from there we're going to continue with the stitching until to the bottom of the skirt Okay, now the stitching is done. This is the outside look. If you see from outside, you cannot see anything. That's the hip line stitch stop. But from inside, we have two separate uh, skirts. Top layer and the bottom layer. So, now we are going to do the other side of the sleeve get that 7 inches mark from this 7 inches to the armpit we're gonna stitch until to the armpit only so under the arm now again we getting this uh, hip line 10 inches from the waist to 10, 10 inches do the marking now this this side i'm gonna install the zip so this zip is from the armpit down to the hip line the 10 inches that's where we're gonna sew this is the armpit uh, that's the armpit line so that's we're gonna mark where the zip gonna start so the zipper starting line will start from that line so get this zipper make sure the zip teeth are facing inside of the dress and the raw edges of the zip and fabric face same side then we can start stitching so we're going to start uh, at the um, hip line marking which is 10 inches below the waist. Now close the zip and do a marking for that la hip line uh, for the waistline. So make sure this uh, both the zip uh, the waistline meet each other if not the line can be up and down after stitching so we are gonna place that marking point and pin together with the other side of the waistline pin it and now we can start sew the other side of the zip now the zips are done if you see here you can see the zip the waistline is matches the front and back and that's the zip opening there it will stop at the hip line so now we're gonna 
do the stitching hip line below we're going to stitch like uh, we did before hold that outer layer of the skirt together and where the zip stops then we're going to start the stitching from that <coughs> All the way to the bottom of the skirt and now we can cut away the extra zip and stitch uh, do a stitching at the end of the zip so the when you open the zip can uh, won't uh, slide off now we're gonna make a slit nearer to the stitch and bring the fabric inside and hold the two lining together and start stitching from the zipper where we stop then down to bottom of the skirt now the skirts are already done already stitched both the side and we already installed the side zip we're going to install the sleeve zip again i'm gonna mark that where the uh, zip gonna start just hold your finger and do mark uh, with the chalk where the zip gonna start so like um, we did before the teeth is facing inside the raw edges of the fabric and the zip meet together and we will start sewing that and we can stop the um, zip stitching uh, where we start the stitching brace down the seven inches so we can st stop the stitching near the uh, seven inches down So that's where the 7 inches we can stop there then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side of the zip make sure the zip is correct then hold it there and stitch the other side of the zip and stop at the 7 inches there now the sleeve zip are done you can see that uh, now for the extra zip we can cut off and do the end uh, stitching at the end now for this extra we can fold it inside and do a stitching along the side once that side is done we will do the other side of the sleeve we'll do the exact same thing as before the teeth are facing inside the raw edges make both same now the other side of the sleeve is all done now we are going to fold the bottom of the lining skirt fold and stitch uh, you remember uh, the, the lining skirt I do a curving at the um, side of the skirt make sure when you do the sewing uh, make sure the curving you get that curving correctly 
now the inner uh, the lining is uh, done we're going to move on to the outer layer skirt so this one i'm just going to one fold and stitch now uh, the skirt is com uh, the dress is completely done and if you see um, my pleat and the um, sleeve uh, side zip that's for voodoo friendly um, and the side zip until to the hip line everything is done if you like my video please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my video see you bye bye